Hello my ATBDs, welcome back to my channel. Today I look like a hot mess, I'm not gonna lie. It was a sweatshirt, also who likes Shine Down? I love Shine Down. it's like one of my favorite bands. It is a sweatshirt and hair up kind of day. Here in Colorado it's really foggy, it's rainy, it's very unlike Colorado because we actually get a lot of sun. That is why I look so casual in this video because I... I'm just tired. <laughs> Today I'm going to be testing out a brand new, well kind of, a brush from IT Cosmetics. Kathleen Lights has talked so much about this brush. This is the IT Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. I've heard such good things about this. They keep bringing it back and then getting rid of it. Like it's limited edition and then it goes away for a while and then it's limited edition and then it goes away. It finally came back on Ulta so I figured I'd pick it up. I want to test this out to see if this is better than some of my other favorite foundation brushes because Number one, it's shaped like a heart. This was $30. It says that it's cruelty free, it gives streak free application, and it gives you flawless looking airbrush results every time. It says it's limited edition for breast cancer awareness month. It says it's densely packed, streamlined, it has confetti in the handle, which is kind of cool. And this is such an expensive brush. This is $30. I'm going to be testing this out, seeing if it beats my all-time favorite foundation brush. It comes in this little packaging right here. It's like the fanciest packaging for a brush. Oh gosh, wow, this is a lot. This is what the brush looks like. It has confetti inside the handle, little hearts, which is really cute. Here is the brush head. As you can see, it's a heart. It does feel pretty dense. So if you're ready to see me test out this brush and see if it's better than my other foundation brushes, then be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave so you don't miss out on my future videos. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Here's a closer look at the brush head as well as the handle. This brush is so soft. Like I could rub this on my face all day long because it's so soft. Let's go ahead and prime my skin. I'm gonna use both Smashbox primers. Let me know, what is the weather like in your area right now? I have some friends that live in the south that say it's 90 degrees. Here it is snowing in the mountains and it's October. Oh, I also ate a Jolly Rancher. That's why my tongue is blue. I'm gonna be taking one of the foundations that I really, really enjoy using with the brush. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. Um, where's my lid? I don't know where my candle lid is. So I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. Oh, shit. I just went everywhere. Did it get on the carpet? <gasps> oh my gosh, I got foundation on the carpet. It just squirted it out, I swear. I didn't do it on purpose. Okay, so here is what the foundation looks like. Let's first go in with one of my favorite foundation brushes. This is the e.l.f. brush. I don't really know what it's called. It's the e.l.f. foundation brush. It looks like this. It's kind of dirty. Let's apply it on this side. Oh gosh, hair. Brushes, I feel like, always leave small little streak lines on my skin. I'm not about that life. It's kind of annoying, to be honest, so I don't use brushes very often when I do my makeup. I uh, really prefer beauty blenders, but if I work with the foundation a little bit, I can usually not have those streak marks, and I find that this brush does that the best. All the other foundation brushes I have pretty much give me streaks. This is also a good video to do right now because I'm washing my beauty blenders, so I have to use a brush. So first I kind of drag it onto my skin and then I stipple it into my skin to get rid of the streak marks. And so here's my skin with the e.l.f. brush. This brush is $30, this better be good. So I'm gonna take some, the back of my hand, go in on the left side of my face. Oh my gosh, this is not giving me streak marks. Wow. My skin looks very airbrushed. Hmm, I'm intrigued, little brush. I don't know how to hold this, it's like a weird shape. The brush feels super nice on my skin. Add a little bit more to the cheeks. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. All right, here's the side with the e.l.f. brush. And then here's the side with the IT Cosmetics brush. To be honest with you, I mean, I think this side looks a bit more airbrushed with this brush. Oh, it's already shedding. <sighs> but I think I achieved similar results with the e.l.f. brush. However, this does look a little bit better and a little bit more airbrushed. Like, it looks like I applied my foundation with a beauty blender. Like, it looks really smooth. I'm going to have to keep playing around with it. And maybe I'll do a comparison between this and a beauty blender because I do really like this brush. I do think my nose looks a little dry. 
but that usually happens whenever I apply foundation with a brush. All right, I'm gonna go finish the rest of the makeup. I will be back to end this video. I'm back, I have the rest of my makeup on. I just filmed another video on this look right here. If you wanna see that video, it is coming for you soon. But I wanted to show you guys how my skin is looking. I mean, it looks freaking flawless. Part of it could be the foundation. Part of it could be the brush. This side looks very full coverage flawless. This side looks maybe a little bit more textured than this side does. I mean like my cheeks look very smooth right here. On this side it's a tad bit more texture. However, they do achieve very similar looks. I think I just prefer the one with the It Cosmetics side better than this side, but they do give a very similar result. If you want to try out the It Cosmetics brush, you definitely should. It's a beautiful brush. It's very well made. The bristles are so soft. It just glides your foundation on. It makes it so seamless and effortless. And then the packaging. Part of what you're paying for is this gorgeous packaging. So if you have an opportunity, be sure to try and get your hands on this before it goes away. I don't know if it's gone when I'm looking at it now online. It is not gone yet. With how seamlessly and easy this side of my foundation applied, I do prefer this brush. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts on this brand new and or just brought back limited edition It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. If you guys have tried out this brush, let me know down in the comments what are your thoughts on this brush. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think it's overpriced? What are your thoughts? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!